Welcome back, drinks fans. I'm Steve the Barman, and I'm all about giving you drinks and cocktail inspiration to help you make better drinks at home. Coming up in today's video, I'm still carrying on the dry January videos, uh, and this is the third uh, video that I've done with the Lyres Range uh, Australian brand. This is the Amaretti, uh, and this to me is just like liquid marzipan. And I really cannot wait to show you these three cocktails. And shh, these cocktails will work if you really kind of want to uh, kind of go boozy as well and use a uh, normal amaretto di serrano as well these will kind of work a treat this is amazing i uh, love this love this it is a little bit of sweetness too but it is just like liquid marzipan absolutely love it uh, let's just kind of read you the tasting notes uh, bouquet, rich caramel, complex scent, complex, can't even say it, look, complex sense of uh, vanilla, marzipan, and maraschino. Uh, the palette, armoured on the palette with hints of uh, tanginess and spice. I do get the spice, actually. Uh, notes of nutty vanilla complete and a longer, generous almond finish. Still around my lips and my mouth. It's amazing. Um, and that is just as I say, amazing. There we go. The one thing I haven't mentioned with these, though, um, and it's kind of rep, uh, reminiscent with the strike uh, that I do for the drink stuff. Most non-alcoholic spirits, because there's no booze in there to keep them, uh, they've only got about 12 weeks in there. I have to say, that's covering themselves. You know, if you keep it in the fridge uh, you, or in cold outside in the garages, whatever, they will keep for a lot longer as well. But they're not going to go off. They're just going to kind of lose their their flavours slightly. That's all it is. So just be warned, they have got a 12, 12, um, 12 week use by. Did I say 12 month? I'm not sure. 12 week uh, use by on the um, on the actual bottle. So just be wearing it there. Right, let's crack on. As always, if you like me, uh, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Give it a like below. Smash that like button because that will help me grow my channel, reach more people. Uh, and as always, uh, just the, if you want to skip to various cocktails, there will be chapters uh, below for you. So just scrub through to the next chapter. Right, the first cocktail I'm going to do for you is kind of like... Um, uh, what are we call it, a Bakewell Sour. Bakewell Sour is absolutely amazing, normally made with brandy and amaretto, uh, a bit of cherry. Uh, I'm gonna serve it up short in uh, this. You could serve it up in a rocks glass as well, over ice, no right or wrong. I just wanna be a bit fancy for this one. Uh, so we're gonna shake it up. Uh, first ingredient I'm gonna go for is my cherry puree. I've used this quite a lot before, and a lot of you were calling for what cocktails you can make for cherry. Uh, obviously, if you don't got a cherry puree, you could use the syrup of your maraschino cherries. I need to get another jar of that, so you could use that. Monin also do, I haven't got it, but Monin, as in these guys, uh, also do a kind of cherry syrup as well, so you don't have to go cherry puree. Um, uh, and uh, Real do a cherry, black cherry, I think Real do. Uh, so that's perfect. Right, uh, for this, uh, I'm going 15 mil, one five uh, of this. Uh, I think that'll be enough sweetness in there. So 15 mil of a cherry puree, and that'll be the same for a cherry syrup because this is, I'm not sure about this one, but they're normally 50-50. Uh, I think this one might be slightly less. I think this one's 30%. I can see it in Italian. I can't find the English. Uh, oh, there we go. Constant cherry, 30%, so it'll be 70% sugar. So they are kind of syrups, these ones. Passion fruit is 50-50. Right, there we go. Uh, let's just wash it out with citrus. I'm going 25 mil of uh, lemon juice in there. Freshly squeezed lemon juice. Freshly squeezed, about three days old. Haven't quite finished that. I'll have to squeeze some more out for the next ones. Um, I'm gonna go for my Elias Amaretti. I'm going 50 mil double bubble, but I'm just gonna uh, rinse the, the jigger out just to use the rest of that up. There we go, all the cherries out now. So 50 mil double bubble. I don't know why I used the big end. I should use the big end, shouldn't I? For... There we go, that'll be, that'll be more obvious, wouldn't it, Barman? Um, and then, just the final ingredient uh, with all sours is kind of that egg white, and as you know, I'm not gonna bang on about it. I don't use egg whites on my channel. I like to keep it vegan friendly as much as possible. Uh, so I'm just going for my little brand of um, Miraculous Foamers, Long Life Shelf Stable, that bottle's equivalent of 160 egg whites. That's way too much. And uh, just want about a third, that's way too much in there, about a third to a quarter of a pipette of that. And that will do exactly the same thing as your egg white. Right, uh, because I've got the puree in there, dry shake, 10 to uh, five, six seconds, just to combine that ingredient and emulsify it. So dry shake, there we 
go. That's all nice. Look at that. Oh, oh that smell. <laughs> oh, that's good. Right, bit of ice in there. Now, the other thing I didn't mention as well, you could use uh, cherry jam, couldn't you? Um, preserve jelly, whatever you call it in your in your country of habit inhabitants. Um, we call it jam over in the UK, so cherry jam will work just as well if you've got a nice, decent farm shop beside you, or a little old lady that makes her own jam. Perfect, right, high fast shake. There we go. <laughs> oh, I'm getting all excited about non-alcoholic cocktails. I've changed, didn't I? I've changed. Right, uh, double strain as we're going all pretentious. Look, get rid of all those little tiny shards of ice. Magic, magic, all that froths out there, look. That'll set all like a pint of Guinness. Perfect, let's just throw that in there, pop that in there, and then garnish. Should have prepped it, but I haven't. I'm gonna do maraschino cherry. Maraschino cherry. Uh, I, was gonna, I was gonna stick it on the skewer, weren't I? Look at this little skewer. Here we go, come on. Poor admin, poor admin bombing. Go through to there. I'm not touching it with my fingers because they are, there we go. Little, little cherry, how's that? It's important to do that bit because that is the best cherry syrup you'll ever have. Oh, love that. Right, there we go. Let's just pop that along. Look at that, um, Bakewell sour, sort of the cherry, the amaretto in there. The almonds, I get vanilla coming through that. That is amazing. I said that was my favorite one out of the three. I love the other two as well uh, that I've done. But that is literally, quite literally, amazing. Mm. Yes, perfect, right. Cocktail, cocktail number two. What are we going for? The watermelon cooler. Watermelon and marzipan, as I found out last year, <laughs> it's just a match made in heaven. Um, one thing I haven't sort of mentioned, I've gone off the boil with this. Uh, obviously, I've got a free cocktail book that you can download as well. The link will be in the description there. Just get yourselves involved in that. And then obviously, I've just launched my YouTube members. Uh, I've stopped my Patreon now. So look, YouTube men uh, members, big shout out to you guys that have joined up so far. I am shooting your first exclusive membership video after this. There are already... <laughs> 40 odd videos there for you members already. Um, but I'm shooting with the first one of this year exclusive straight off this. Right, watermelon uh, cooler. Uh, again, I'm going for my uh, watermelon puree. As I say, always say, if you haven't got watermelon puree, watermelon syrup is fine. If you haven't got watermelon syrup, get some fresh watermelon, a cup of some chunks in the palm of your hand, pop it down there, tiny bit of sugar, give it a muddle, and you've got watermelon syrup puree just as good. How's that? We won't use that. It's got cherry in it now. Let's get a fresh jigger. Right, I'm going for the, I'm going for the big end this time. Right, uh, what are we doing? 15 mil, 15. There we go. I don't use the big end because it's lined every 10 mil and bottom end's lined every five mil. So I'll get 15 mil, bang on. Whereas I have to guess in between the 10 and 20. That's why I use the little end. But we can guesstimate, can't we? We can guesstimate. Right, 15 mil of uh, your watermelon puree. I'm now going 50 mil double bubble of your um, uh, amaretti. There we go. This one's this really cool, um, really easy uh, to make this one, really easy. I do a bit of uh, lemon juice, uh, 15 mil of lemon juice. One five, there we go. 15 ml of lemon juice. Then a couple of juices for this one. Uh, the first one I'm going for is, I've got cranberry and raspberry juice because I do personally prefer cranberry and raspberry juice uh, over cranberry juice. Uh, but if you want to use plain cranberry juice, that's absolutely fine. Uh, and it's going in that sling glass and I'm going to do it with crushed ice in there. Uh, so I'm actually going just 50 ml. If you need slightly more, that's absolutely fine because um, the crushed ice will bulk that out a little bit. But um, but cranberry juice, that's your first ingredient. And then I've got um, freshly squeezed, smooth, no bits. I keep getting grief for, for you guys that don't like bits in your drinks because I keep buying the orange juice with pulp. Uh, so I've got um, 
100% pressed, a squeezed orange juice. Uh, and actually, I just want 15 mil. I'd actually written down, I was going to use a bigger glass. So I've actually written down 25 mil and 75 mil. Uh, it's a 75 mil cranberry sub, but I'm just going 15 because I'm just dialing it down in a smaller glass. There we go. Right, so uh, the amaretto, the watermelon, the lemon juice, orange juice, bit of cranberry juice, absolutely stunning. Um, shake it down with some ice. Fill it up with ice. There we go. Right. Perfect. Right. And then hard, a fast shake. 10, 12 seconds. Uh, combine all that puree in there as well. Right. Here we go. Lovely, jubbly. Pop that there. Uh, I am going to uh, single strain this. Uh, you could do a shake and dump if you wanted to. Uh, absolutely no problem. Uh, not sure how much ice I've got in there. There we go. If I got too much ice, I was going to do it with crushed ice. Oh, it's perfect. Look at that. It is perfect. It is perfect. Uh, obviously, I've had an admin failure again. I have been out shopping this morning and completely forgot a watermelon yet again. But to colour contrast, a uh, sprig of mint in there. You could go a nice slice of orange. And that is kind of almond and watermelon cooler. Amazing. Watermelon and amaretto, that kind of Marsy, but I never would have thought of that combo. I did it by accident last year. Oh, it's amazing. Love it. I, I tell you, I'm a big, big fan of that. So there we go. Right, the third cocktail, cocktail number three. This is the fun one. This is a little bit, uh, and I'm going for an almond pina colada for you. All right. <laughs> right. Uh, again, going to shake this up. Uh, of course, we are coconut puree this time. You can use coconut milk, coconut water, coconut, uh, yeah, coconut milk, the Alpro stuff, or coconut milk uh, out of a tin, whatever you fancy. I've always got coconut puree here. Uh, is that one? That'll do. Again, I'm going 15, actually, oh, 15 mil. I'm going 15 mil of coconut. I was thinking 25 then for a second. 15 mil should be absolutely perfect. If you want it more coconutty, that's cool. That's fine. There we go. Lovely chubby. We'll rinse the rest of that out in a bit. So coconut puree, number one. Uh, obviously, pina colada doesn't normally run, but I promise you, almond works so, so well in here. Uh, double bubble of your amaretti. It's 50 mil of that. Uh, I am just actually going for a little bit of lime juice. Uh, not too much. I'm going 10 mil of lime juice. In there. Obviously, we need some pineapple juice. That was pressed pineapple juice. There we go. Nothing but pressed. Don't go to concentrate route. I promise you, pressed tastes so much better. And it's not much more expensive as well. We're talking like 20, 30p. Uh, I'm going 75 mil of pressed pineapple juice. There we go. Now, it's up to you on this bit. Sometimes I've got some little, haven't got it yet. I've got some little uh, Cornish blue, more Cornish blue stuff coming like this. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna dispense my salt into a little Cornish blue egg cup. So I'm gonna have like, like the little chefs do, like have a little bit of salt there. You can add, the whole point of that is, uh, you can add some salt uh, to pina coladas. I do actually do that from time to time, depending on the sweetness. Not too much, not too much. And normally I've got proper salt as well. I need to get some more rock salt in there. Um, so a tiny bit of salt in there. You could add various other flavours if you wanted to in normal pina coladas. I do actually use orgeat quite a lot, but the savvy ones amongst you will realise that's virtually mimicking that anyway. That's why I know this works very, very well. But whatever you fancy doing. Now, uh, you could blend this up, flash blend it, uh, or you could just shake it down. If I, as I always say, if you flash blend him, uh, it won't separate. It'll take longer to sort of separate. Uh, up. Whereas if you do shake, you will get that separation quite quickly, within a few minutes. Uh, that's the only thing. But I know you lot, the cocktails don't last that long, don't you? You don't have them sitting on your side for half an hour. So, uh, ice this up, give it a good old shake down. Uh, as always, if you do make any of these, 
uh, tag me on Instagram, either on your feeds or in your stories, uh, and I'll start to reshare them this year. I'm going to do a lot of that. So any cocktails you make, do that. As always as well, if you like me, and if you haven't done already, smash that subscribe button as well, and that way you will see more more content. Uh, I have got one more dry January video to film, and then we are back to rolling out sort of cocktails, and the first one up becoming chocolate cocktails. That's what I'm rocking out really soon. So don't forget to hit that like button as well. Right, hard fast shake. Lovely, lovely jubbly, lovely jubbly. Shake and dump or fresh ice, whatever you fancy. There we go. In your tiki glass. I've got crushed ice here, so I'm just gonna top it up with a bit of crushed ice. Magicals, magicals. I have got a bit of there. I haven't got any pineapple spears. I've used, I've taken all the leaves off the pineapple originally, so I'm gonna go for a sprig of mint in there. And there we go, an almond pina colada. Oh. For me, the coconut in that is perfect. If you want to add more coconut, be my guest, not a problem. Uh, but for me, that is perfect. So there we go, that's Lies Amaretti. Honestly, I can't fault any of the three I've had so far, the coffee uh, and the, uh, the Italian orange, the Aperol sort of uh, thing. I think they are genius products. If you're not drinking, you can't drink. Whether it's dry January or through the year, genius products. Go and check them out. I'll see you in the next video.